Hello, in this video I will show how you can write a simple .NET instrumentation tool that will inject uh, instruction into .NET based application in order to trace the execution uh, of that binary. We'll use a mono library to that and I will show you how to um, write a simple version of this instrumentation tool but of course it can be extended into a bit more sophisticated version in the future. Let's get started. Um, in order to write this application, we will just create simple console application. Uh, of course, it can be a win forms or WPF application, but for our purpose, the console application is enough. So I'll just create simple IL trace. I'll call it like that and I will uh, create the application. Of course, Visual Studio has to take some time to create the project. It's not the fastest tool, even for such a small application. But anyway, I guess it will finally manage to give us the control over the source code. Okay, so uh, as I said, we'll be using Mono Cecil uh, library. So first I will install it. Uh, it can be installed uh, using uh, NuGet package manager, so I will I will use that and install package. We'll use the install package command mono seal. Okay, the library is being installed, and we already have it in our project. Okay, so what do we need to do in order to uh, instrument uh, .NET uh, application? So uh, our usage will be that we'll pass the um, path to the application in the command line. So first we'll just guard that uh, actually we have something uh, passed to the application. And if it's uh, not passed, we will just write a uh, console right line will pass that okay you need to execute simple el trace.exe and assembly and pass the assembly and we'll just return okay uh, if we actually have the some argument pass we'll take the the argument from the arcs it will be at index zero and we'll use the mono Cecil uh, library to to get the info about this uh, assembly uh, so we'll use module definition from mono Cecil and we will just read from the file we can have multiple uh, methods here we'll use where we pass the file name I think for now we don't need reader parameters maybe Later we will uh, use that, but for now it should be enough. Okay, uh, when we have the module, so now we need to go through all the uh, all the types and all the methods in this module and instrument them. So we'll just write a simple for each, and in module we'll get the types. We'll call the uh, type and for each again in all the type in the type we will uh, go through all the methods okay so we have a nested for each loop so the first one goes through all the types in our assembly and the second for all the types in each type we go through all the methods okay so now what we need to do uh, we need to uh, get Oh, maybe first we need to check if actually our method has a body because in .NET you can have an external uh, methods uh, so it's like uh, the definition of the method is not actually in the uh, module itself so we just let be sure we will protect uh, about, uh, for that so if it doesn't have a body we'll just continue uh, okay uh, so if we have a body, we'll get um, 
from that body will get something that we will use for modifying the body. So uh, this is called uh, EL uh, processor. And we'll get it method on uh, uh, we'll get not module but method body and el get el processor okay when we have this processor we can now uh, modify the content of the body so what i will be um, our modification will be we'll add a console write line at the beginning of the method and in the end so basically we'll write that we are entering a method name and exiting method name uh, so what would be of course you need to need a little bit of el uh, but our instruction will be um, that we will need to add to each method will be ld uh, str so it's load string and next will be call and it will be call for console write line that has an object uh, okay so let's just write that so we will uh, first we'll create ld str instance Traction, and we can uh, we can do that by instruction create. Our opcode would be l opcodes ld str, and our string will be entering, and here we'll have a method method name okay that will be the ldstr instruction and we also need a call instruction and with a call instruction it's not that easy because we need actually have a reference to this uh, console right line um, call so it's not only uh, just instruction call with a string the argument for the call has to be a reference to a method in console right line and we can do that by uh, finding this uh, instruction, but we don't have to do it in the loop because it will be always the same. So we can uh, write method reference here, console write line, and we can use uh, on the module, we can import, import the reference and our type would be a console and on the we want a console right line that has uh, that has just one argument and its type of object okay so this will give us if it will work it will give us a reference to a right line method on a console and this method takes one, just one argument. We, we could of course get a reference to other objects, but for now we'll just pass one uh, string to this method and that's enough. Okay, so we'll just create this call instruction, instruction with the same instruction.create, but this time opcode will be call and we'll pass this uh, method uh, console right line reference. Okay, so now we need to add those instructions to actually um, to our body, this body of the method. And for that, we'll use the EL processor uh, that we extracted here. Uh, so uh, on the EL processor, we have uh, some method insert after insert before append uh, create yeah create we already use emit so we'll use insert before but in order to do that we need to have instruction before which will actually add our instruction so here I will just uh, find the first instruction of the method body and I will just use uh, uh, on the met method, I will get the body 
instructions and I will just call first that will return me the first instruction and I can use it here so I'll, first instruction I will uh, just uh, add before that I will add the load string instruction and again I will use the same instruction uh, to uh, add our call instruction. So when it executes, we will have LDSTR call and then the first instruction of the original method body. So that gives us the first part or, of our instrumentation. So now let's deal with the um, exiting. So we'll just create LDSTR uh, two instruction. I don't, it's not the best name, but anyway. Uh, opcodes LDSTR we will just exiting not existing exiting method name we need to use the dollar so that's the indicates that the uh, in the string the parameters are being resolved the values will be used not the, the actual string and we need the last instruction. So basically uh, here we had the first instruction we inserted before and here we need to do the same with uh, before the last instruction. instruction. And we'll do, we'll get it in the same way, instruction, and then we can use the last. Okay, and then we will just uh, append el processor, insert uh, before, last instruction will this ldstr2 instruction and then el processor insert before call will be the same and uh, ldstr uh not uh not not that's not correct first we have last instruction and then we pass the call instruction okay and that will deal with the exiting so when we do this and we when we execute this two for each we'll have all the methods in all the types instrumented with those additional calls with entering method name and exiting method name okay the one thing that's left we need to just uh, write this module with the modifications so basically we can uh, have a name we can actually use the original name uh, if we use the path we can get get uh, file name blah blah without extension we will pass the original file name we'll just add uh, modified plus path get extension that will give us the extension uh, of the original file name okay there's one more thing we need to actually do in order to work this in most cases because this will work if our application that will modify is a console application but if the application is actually winforms for example uh, the console that we actually try to use it for writing will not be instantiated and it will actually it will not fail the uh, program will still work but will not get any results from those console write lines so we'll do a little trick because uh, i guess there's multiple ways you can fix that you can actually uh, do some fancy ones but we'll uh, just use a trick so we will do like this if we will check that the uh, the kind of the application is actually windows we will say it's no longer Windows, it's a console application. And it actually will work because in console application, you can still have a, a Windows, like like a GUI Windows, and you will also have a console and it will work. It's most more like a trick, not the actual solution for this issue. Uh, but yeah, this will work. And since this is just a basic um, program, I think it will, uh, will be enough. So let's see if it will compile for a start and then we will see how it will work. Okay, it compiled. So let's see if it will 
work as expected. Okay, let's see how it works. Uh, so I copied the, the simple ill trace to my virtual machine and I will uh, I have an example um, of .NET application and actually a MAMCAT battle station from this year's Flare competition uh, which uh, looks like uh, this if you haven't played Flare this is the application so actually it's not that simple it's uh, well not that complex either but it's something so uh, let's see uh, actually how it work with this uh, application so right now I run the application there is nothing here uh, so let's see if we treat this binary with uh, our simple ELL trace uh, as in the code we will pass the file as a parameter for our tracer it will execute no info maybe actually it would be nice to put some information that it worked okay but for now it has to uh, be enough so let's see okay so we created a second uh, exe which has this modified uh, added to the name it's a bit larger due to the additional i guess instruction so let's see how it will um, work if we actually run the modified version and we already could see that there is some logging so the logs of the application running being uh, printed on the console so actually there is something working uh, we can see that uh, there is some constructor being executed some properties with the get uh, prefix and the timer for the animation actually is being used so let's see if we uh, rainbow we actually fire the first code I think that was the correct one uh, and some more uh, diagnostic logs are being printed so yeah so it looks like it works so our simple tracer slash uh, instrumentation tool works so uh, if you ever need to instrument dot net uh, application it's actually very easy to deal with mono Cecil and of course this example is, is uh, fairly simple but you can instrument uh, more than just methods and actually you can print more information than just a uh, name of the method there's uh, a lot of information you can extract from the mono Cecil um, that mono Cecil provides and actually if you would like to see extension to this video just let me know in the comments and i can um, record a little bit more how to do it with mono cecil uh, if you like uh, this video then yeah let me know thanks